Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a shipping video. This is, I think, 16-ish uh, items to ship out. The last time that I shipped was either Tuesday or Wednesday, and today is Friday. So it's been a pretty good sales week. Let's go ahead and just get into it. So our first sale is my only sale from my men's closet. It is a vintage Lacoste sport button-down corduroy shirt. I did add keywords into this like shacket just to kind of appeal to more styles and a wider audience. A lot of people like the shacket look, but you could also wear this as like a button-down shirt. It's very cool. I mainly got it because it did look older and you know vintage stuff does sell really well it was in really good condition and Lacoste is kind of like a sporty streetwear brand I guess I would say um, I think it does again kind of transcend a lot of styles like sporty but also kind of streetwear and preppy and uh, almost kind of hipstery sometimes. So yeah, I picked this up at the bins uh, probably like six months ago. I listed it in my men's closet at $28 and it did sell full price. So my earnings were $22.40 and my net profit was right around $20 on this shirt. I've mentioned it so many times in the past, but uh, items in my over in my men's closet it's mr underscore poshman is the name of that closet uh, when i list stuff over there it usually does sit for a while unless it's just like a really trendy piece like you know patagonia or something like that uh it usually does sit the item but it does usually end up selling for either full price or very close to the list price because guys they seem to just kind of not mess around. They don't really care about haggling or, you know, trying to uh, really figure out what your bottom barrel price is. They just want the item. They want to buy it and move on with their life. Okay, so next up, we have a very large piece. So I'm going to grab my biggest box that I ship with. It is box number seven from USPS.com. I order this free online. It comes straight to my door. I have a list of every of all the boxes that I order in the description of this video. Okay, so this is a huge Free People jacket, cardigan, poncho, cape piece. It's so cozy. I just had this in my haul video, so it did sell very quickly. It's a one size item, and I did find it at the Goodwill outlet. So I did pay by the pound for this, and it is pretty heavy. This is definitely a couple pounds. So yeah, I probably paid like four or $5 for it, but I was happy to. I knew that it would sell very well, especially because we are still in colder weather. So, Yeah, this sold in just a few days for my full asking price of $75, which I was very happy about. It did retail for over 100 and it is in good condition, so I think that's pretty fair. When I'm wrapping bulky items, I just line this box with a piece of packing paper, put the item in, and then add a piece of paper on top with a thank you sticker. Um, I've been doing... I've been shipping large items like this for years now and I've never had a problem. I will say that Poshmark is cracking down on uh, making sure that your packages weigh five pounds or less. So if they do weigh over five pounds, you do definitely need to upgrade the shipping weight. Uh, so I would just recommend you guys get a scale. I have my scale linked down below. It's very... It's very easy to use. I actually have it right here. It's Accutech brand. So you just press power, wait for it to go to zero. 
So yeah, this is three pounds. So I don't have to upgrade the shipping label on this. So with Poshmark, if you're unfamiliar, you, whenever you sell something, you get a shipping label sent straight to your email to print out and add to your package and buyer pays shipping. So as long as your package is five pounds or under, you don't have to worry about a thing. You just print out your label and stick it on. But if the package is over five pounds, all you have to do is go into the sale, say upgrade, weight, you weigh it, and then you select how much it weighed. And then Poshmark will charge you like a small fee to upgrade the weight on that. So it's very easy to ship items on this app. Poshmark, which is why um, it is my favorite app to use. So yeah, did I say that free people piece sold for 75? My earnings were 60. I paid around five-ish dollars for it. If it weighed three pounds, so I probably paid about six-ish for it. So my net profit was right around $54, which I am ecstatic about, especially considering it sold so quickly. Okay, next up, another fast sale. This is, it's just Loft from Ann Taylor, but I did get it because it's new with tags. It's also from 2020, so pretty recent. And I did like the textured rainbow stripe. I'm definitely more likely to get something if it has like a rainbow colorway to it that is... Uh, I would say more marketable than just like a plain black stripe to some people. I mean, you know, everyone, personally, I, in my own wardrobe, I prefer like a white and black stripe to a rainbow. But I think across the board, rainbow stuff is very marketable. So I listed this at 30. It probably retailed for around, I would say like 59-ish would be my guess. So I listed at 30. My I received an offer of 25, which I accepted. That's exactly what I figured to get for this. My earnings were 20, and my net profit was $19. So I'm happy with that. I just tossed it into my bag at the bins. It was very easy to list. And it was a fast sale, so that's all I ask for. Okay, now we have a bundle of two items. This is another, these were both very quick sales. Once again, this is a Coldwater Creek size 3X button-down shirt dress, maxi dress. It does have the attached belt. It is brand new, so we love that. Even though this was a little bit of a heavier piece, if you're unfamiliar, um, you know, I did buy this from the Goodwill Outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill Bins, where you pay by the pound here in Houston. It is $2.19 if you are purchasing under 50 pounds, which I typically do. I don't typically stay long enough to find 50 pounds and up. I have a couple times in the past. I'm very proud of those shopping excursions, but this time it was $2.19 per pound. I did want to get this though, even though it is a little bit heavier of a piece because it did have so many selling points to it. It's new with tags, it's plus size, it's that really soft, comfortable, lyocell kind of chambray material. And shirt dresses in general sell fantastic for me. Okay, second and last piece in the bundle is again 3X Nike, it is a newer piece. This is from 2021, I want to say. And it looked brand new to me. I liked the color. It's long line, very easy to throw on, a very practical piece. And it's lightweight. So I probably only paid around a dollar for it. So when the two were added to a bundle, the bundle price came out to $66, and I was offered $50, which I did go ahead and accept. That made my earnings $40. I paid 
around $3 for both. And so my net profit was $37 on this bundle. Again, both very easy to list and also sold very quickly. I think I will put this in a box. So this is my 1092 box. It's for my kind of smaller bundles. I do still have such a huge death pile. Probably like close to 200 items. I know I mentioned doing reseller mystery boxes. I'm still kind of debating on that. But I also kind of want to challenge myself to just take like an entire week and really focus and see how much I can get listed. And then maybe after I get all that listed, I could start going to the bins and doing reseller mystery boxes like from the day that I went to the bins. I think that could be a cool idea. So I don't know, I'm still playing around with lots of ideas, but I think that could be fun. Okay, a pair of shoes. These are Vince Camuto. I've had these for a while now. I would say like nine months, but I did want to get them. I saw them at the bins just because they are such a closet staple black little heel pump. I listed these at 35. These are actually just relisted. I relisted them probably about a week ago. So that just shows you, you can have something that sits for nine months and then you relist it, you know, get it going in the algorithm, send it to people's news feeds and it can sell within a week of being relisted. So that's why it is so important to relist your items. Uh, even if they have, you know, 100 likes on them, those 100 people are not buying. So, you know, it just takes one buyer. I personally relist. I have been relisting like every other day about 15 items. And I've probably gotten maybe like 20 sales from it. And these are all things that I have had for like nine, six, six months to a year, I would say. And it just takes one button click for uh, my Posture VA Chrome extension to relist 20 items. I just go in and say how many items I want relisted. Sometimes I'll do 15, sometimes I'll do 20. And you can even select that you would like the price to be increased when the item is relisted. Let's say you have lowered a lot of pieces in your closet for closet clear out sales in the past and you want to relist stuff but when when it's new in you want it to have a higher price so you can add that you can check a little box it says like increase prices by 10 percent when they're relisted so i highly recommend posture va it's very user friendly uh i would say like I probably have on average, I don't know, maybe like 50 to 75 sales a month from using Posture VA. And I would say like one or two covers the subscription cost. It's like $25 a month. So I highly recommend it. My code is McKenzie20. If you want to get 20% off, try it out. I love it. I do have a link for that in the description as well. Next we have another two-piece bundle and the first item is a hat. It is actually, let me add in the shoes first. Okay, so the first item is a pair of shoes. These are, these are Celine. They are authentic Celine. I actually purchased these from a friend in a clothing and shoe buyout where I paid around $15 per item. Uh, but I was happy to pay it. I do have the haul video for that buyout uh, on my channel. It's called like, I paid 300 for everything. Um, and I think I am already in the profit zone. So we love that with lots of pieces still to sell. So I'm going to take my box number seven once again. I will add the shoes into the bottom, add a thank you sticker, and then I will just add my hat right in. I did crumple up a piece of paper to help it keep its shape. This is a Gigi Pip hat. 
definite bolo brand. You guys should for sure keep an eye out for it. Uh, this hat retailed for around $90 and it did sell very quickly. So I have the two pieces in here. I'm going to once again add another piece of paper. Just try to fill in the extra space so nothing moves around. So when the two of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $115 and I was offered $90, which I thought was fair. I did accept that offer and my earnings came out to $72. I paid $17 for both, $15 for the shoes, and then a couple dollars for the hats, also from the Goodwill outlet. And so my net profit was $55 on these two pieces, which I'm ecstatic about considering I didn't have to spend any time hunting down the shoes. Okay, next we have a flannel from BDG, which is an Urban Outfitters house brand. This is super cute. It's a pink and blue kind of oversized dolman sleeve button down flannel shirt. Love this, very slouchy and casual. I listed this at 28. I got an offer, I would say maybe a week after being listed for 20, which I did counter to 25 just because I think this flannel is a newer piece from Urban. And that was countered back to 22, which I did go ahead and accept that. We are moving towards springtime. We are moving out of colder weather. And so I do, if I'm listing, you know, flannels and jackets, I do want to get them in the door and then out the door very quickly so that they don't sit throughout springtime. So I accepted the $22 offer. My earnings were $17.60. And my net profit was $16.60. I think that's really cute and I hope the buyer loves it. Okay, a three piece bundle. Once again, I'm gonna grab my box number seven. Our first item is this blank NYC reptile long line faux suede jacket. This is so pretty, very chic very minimalist, a little bit boho, very contemporary, <laughs> and it looks brand new. This was also an item that I purchased from a friend, and the cost on that was also around $15. This, these two, the last two items in the bundle were outlet finds, so around $2 on these. This is a cloth and stone size large, printed, button-down chambray shirt. It kind of has like an animal print to it, maybe like cheetah. And then last piece is this Tory Burch 100% merino wool mock neck long line sweater. A very high quality piece here. This probably retailed for around $300, I would guess. And this sold instantly. Uh, the buyer messaged me and said that she saw it in the haul video and she was just waiting for me to list it to purchase it. So that's always fun and exciting. I mentioned in the haul that I am shying away from purchasing cloth and stone to resell just because it's sold at places like Marshalls and TJ Maxx now. So the brand is getting kind of devalued. It used to be sold at Anthropology a lot, but with a wardrobe staple chambray shirt like this, with it being long line, it looked brand new, it had a print to it, it's a size large. I did want to get it, especially, you know, with my low cost of goods, and I'm very happy that it sold quickly. So the bundle price for those three pieces came out to $108. I do have an automatic 15% off three items or more bundle discount in my closet. So $108 does reflect that. I was offered 97, so I did accept. My earnings came out to $77.60. I paid right around $19.25 for everything. And so my net profit was $58.35. Okay, moving on another 
like immediate sale. This sold within an hour of being listed. It's a Free People thermal top. It's size large. It's like a waffle knit. This is so cool. I forget the style name on it. Uh, but yeah, very fast sale. So happy again to move a wintry item in and out of the door. I listed at 45. It was a full price sale, which we love. This was like the ideal sale. Instant for full price of $45. So my earnings were 36. I paid $2.25. And so my net profit came out to $33.75 on this top. I think I will throw it in a box. Okay, moving on. We have another hat. So I will get yet another box seven. This one is by Melrose and Market, which is sold at places like Nordstrom. It's super cute. It has a little polka dot print on it. This was so lightweight. I just tossed it in my bag of bins. This brand doesn't retail for very much, Melrose and Market. So I knew that it wouldn't resell for very much, obviously. Uh, but I knew that it would probably sell quickly just because it's so cute and it was in good condition. So I listed at 22 and within just a couple days I got an offer of 18 which I accepted and so my net profit was around $13.40. I am way more likely to get accessories that will sell for less versus clothing that sells for less just because it takes me it took me probably a minute and a half to photo this and I don't typically look up stock photos for accessories and so you know with the small amount of time invested, I am willing to pick up accessories, I guess I would say. I would say it would take me like, I don't know, 45 minutes to list 15 accessories, whereas it would take me probably a couple hours to, to photo, steam, photo, measure, list uh, 15 clothing items. So I do think of it as a time commitment because once again, it always rings true that time is money. And honestly, I just think that hat is super cute. I didn't want to see it going off to a landfill. I wanted it to get some use this summer. Okay, next we have a jumpsuit from BDG. Again, Urban Outfitters house brand. Really pretty color. It zips down in front. It does have the waist belt. And this is also that drapey kind of chambray lyocell material. It's just so easy to wear and uh, very comfortable, very practical. I listed this at $40. And within a couple of weeks, I received a $38 offer, which was obviously very fair. I did accept that. My earnings were $30.40 and my net profit came out to $28.15. Okay, last couple of sales here. We have a backpack. This is so cute. I mentioned in the haul that it reminded me of the Harvey's backpacks or the Harvey's seatbelt bags because this definitely does have the seatbelt look and feel and texture to it. Um, but this is not branded. But I did get it based on style. And it was pretty popular. It had several likes and it sold within a week or so of being listed. Uh, this was another bin find. I listed at 45 and I received an offer of 30, which I did counter to 40 and the buyer countered back to 35, which I accepted. So my earnings were 28 and my net profit was right around 25. If this had been in perfect condition, I would have listed a little bit higher, probably closer to 50 or 55 ish, but it did have just some surface dirt to it, um, which obviously I did disclose. And so I did list just a little bit lower and I did 
except a $35 counter. Uh, so my earnings, okay, I said, yeah. So yeah, $25 for this, which I'm happy with. I think that's great. Um, again, an accessory that took me a very small amount of time to list. Our very last sale for today is this mink pink dress. It's a maxi dress. This is so adorable. It has side slits. It buttons from the waist down. It's a size large. Um, I did have this in my last haul video once again. It was at the very end of the video because it does have a flaw. It just has like a small rip in the side vent. So you would absolutely never see it unless someone walked up to your dress and asked to inspect it, which, you know, I would say there's a slim chance of that happening. And so, yeah, I did go ahead and list it. I did have someone who was interested in it. And so I tagged her and she purchased it within the hour of it being listed for my full list price of $22. Again, if this had been in perfect condition, I probably would have listed closer to 30. But with the small little tear, I did list at 22. My earnings were $17.60, and my net profit was $16.60 on this dress. So for a flawed item, I'm pretty happy with that. I could have, you know, just donated it back, but instead I made over $16 back, which I'm thrilled with. So. That is absolutely everything for today. Thank you guys so much for shipping my items out with me. Um, I will see y'all soon. If you like the video, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all. Bye guys.